Hey y'all, this is Charlie from Austin Underground and I'm here with the band AO. Can you uh, tell us your names? Austin Russell. Yeah. Avidel. Uh, John Arati. Now y'all are from Chicago, that's right? Yeah. 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 First time in Austin? For South by? Okay, cool. Well, how do you think? What do you think of our city? It's it's different. It's not Chicago. That's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> I'm loving it, man. I'm like I'm abs I'm like on cloud nine. I'm yeah, absolutely awesome. loving it. Very cool. Very very fun place. Okay, cool. So, uh, how did you guys meet? Yeah, yeah, I'm from here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, how'd y'all meet? Do you, uh, have you known each other a while? Uh, we met, John and I met through a friend, um, and then we uh, quickly picked up the other guys through uh, through connections, and yeah, no, no like grand story, just a, I think it was a, it's just a story of mutual desire to, to make music yeah. that we all love. But it's not like childhood friends or anything. Yeah, we're all from like different areas, like John, the only one originally from Chicago, uh, but I'm from Seattle and obviously from Pittsburgh. And our bassist, who isn't here right now, is from originally from Thailand. Yeah. yeah. All right. So uh, I know you probably get asked this question all the time, but go ahead and quickly just describe your style, uh, what your music sounds like. Rock and roll. I mean, I I love to say that it's like it's a it's a dance pop infused with rock and roll soul. Okay. That's like I think the best way to describe it. Okay. Yeah. Any particular musical influences? I mean, we all come to the table with many different influences. I mean, I think each of us like, you know, the music we listen to when we're on our own. Um, but I think like we look at bands like The Killers or, uh, um, uh, you know, what Imagine Dragons are doing right now is really awesome. I mean, when the Fun record came out a couple years ago, we were just like, this is fucking awesome. So, um, yeah. We can bleep it out, it's all good. <laughs> This is, no, this is a no bleeping zone. If you, if you bleep me, we're done. <laughs> so, um, what about uh, non-musical influences? Yeah, I mean... Non-musical films or, or people or, or something that it inspires you, influences you. I'm from Pittsburgh and I really... Andy Warhol um, is, is awesome. And there's, a, there's also a, a, a more contemporary artist uh, named Burton Morris. Does a lot of uh, a lot of. He's also a Pittsburgh guy, and just some, does a lot of uh, pop art. And I, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I really love kind of the visual arts of, of like pop culture and what what's cool and how how art how like you know two dimensional thing influences a three dimensional world. I, I think it's really cool. So, like, um, pizza is a huge influence. Of mine. <laughs> love pizza. Yeah. All right, so. <laughs> We're gonna, we're gonna bleep that whole thing out. That <laughs> pizza thing is done. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so if you guys had to do a cover album, um, and you could only cover like one specific artist, but you could do like uh, an album full of just their songs, which artist would you choose? Uh, I mean, we would do Graceland. We would do Paul Simon Graceland. Yeah, yeah. People, I mean, yeah that's, that's what would happen. I'd like to do something like kind of out there, like cover cover like all of Les Misérables. <laughs> That's something we're talking about. It's actually it's actually funny. This is, we've never said this in interview before. But John and I, we 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 are akin in two very similar things. One, we both have older sisters. So like we've like these like very strong women in our lives that have like impacted our musical taste. So we're like big like indigo girl fans and like, <laughs> like you know what I mean? like like they like violent stems. Like we're like really into like bands that like were like notoriously girl bands. Um, Just because they were mean to us, we were little like, right. forced us to listen. And we to also and we also love show tunes. We like totally hit it off on this like uh, love of Les Mis. Yeah. Musical theater. Musical theater. Well, I, and I, 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 it's funny because I also have grown up listening to a lot of musical theater because my brother's a theater actor. Okay. So, uh, yeah, like we, that's something we all can so relate on. Yeah. 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 All right, and uh, I'm just curious where the name come from. I always, I, I guess that's my question. Yeah. Um, <laughs> he, he tells the story the best. I tease, I tease. No, so we, when we first started writing, when we first started playing together, we weren't like a band or anything friends playing music, trying to kind of feel each other out and see if this is what we wanted to do. And there was a song that I had written that had this refrain that went, hey oh, hey oh, 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 oh. And we sort of felt like, oh, like, this is, this is like a light bulb went off. Like, this is a this is a sound we can, like, create a band around. You know, like, we can write other songs that are in that world and we do that kind of thing. And then when it came to, like, being a band or picking a name, we could not agree at all. Like, it was the worst thing. Have you ever tried to name a band? 
it's the worst. I, I don't wish it on. I wouldn't wish it. I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemies, man. It's like the most annoying thing in the world because you like put so much weight into something that's so insignificant. And um, and we were just like, let's just name the band after the song we all love. And that's what we did. That's a great idea. All right, and before we leave, um, do you have any superpower? Uh. Um, the, the power to generate pizza whenever I want. <laughs> I would be yeah. pretty awesome. <laughs> it would be. I would never go hungry. That's a reach. Yeah. That's a reach because you can generate pizza whenever you want now. Well, yeah, no, but like, what, what if I'm just like at home and I just don't feel like going out or like going to the phone? I can just like pizza. pizza. Got it. Got it. Uh, fly. Come on, dude. Anyone that doesn't say fly is lying. Um, wait, is this a superpower we already have, or one that we would want? <laughs> <laughs> I can run really fast. <laughs> um, oh, I, w I wish I could fly. I, mean, I guess I think everyone says that though. I would want to. I'd want to time travel. Oh, that's a good. So I can like go back and change some things, or like go see what's you know. What, the hell, what am I gonna be doing ten years from now? Mine, probably. I would say fly teleportation. That'd be pretty convenient. Yeah, time travel though, I like that one. I like that oh, one no, a like lot. The teleportation, you can like teleport just like a couple feet at a time, so you can like technically like fly with teleportation too. Like you just like, you know? I've never thought about that before. That's pretty awesome. Thought about <laughs> all right, thank you so much guys. I wish y'all luck and uh, thanks for letting us interview you. Thank you so much for the time. All right. Yeah. <laughs>